Hey guys, today we are looking at translations, our next transformation. So we are going to talk about what a translation is and how do we write the rule for a translation on the coordinate plane. So a translation is just a slide. We're going to move the figure up, down, or left or right. And then every figure, every point of the figure is going to move the same direction and amount. So down here, we will move all three points the same direction and amount. This is the rule for a translation. We are going to add or subtract a number from X and Y. And depending on what direction you go, that changes what you do to your coordinates. So right and left are X coordinate directions. To move right, we add to X. To move left, we subtract from X. And then up and down are the Y axis direction. So we add to Y and subtract from Y. All right, let's look at number one. It says to move four to the left and three up. Record the original and new coordinates in the table and see if we notice any patterns. So I already recorded the original coordinates. A is at five, three, B is at nine, four, and C is at five, seven, five. Okay, now we are going to translate four to the left and three up. So I'm just gonna move each point that same direction four to the left and three up. So I'm gonna start with A, and I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four to the left, and then one, two, three up. There's my new A, it is at one, six. So A prime is at one, six. Okay, now let's look at B. I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four to the left, and one, two, three up. There's B prime, now that ordered pair is five, seven. And then C prime, I'm gonna move it one, two, three, four to the left and one, two, three up. And there is the translated triangle. It's the same size, same shape, we just slid it. And my new C is at three, eight. Okay, so now let's see if we notice any patterns. So it says, how were the X coordinates affected in the translation? Remember, I went four to the left, that affected the X values. I went from five to one, nine to five, and seven to three in my X coordinates. So how were the X coordinates affected? We subtracted four from the X coordinates to move left. Okay, now let's look at the Y values. It says, how are the Y coordinates affected in the translation? And remember, we went three up in our Y direction. I went from three to six, four to seven, and then five to eight. So whenever I went up three, that, mean, that meant that I added three to the Y coordinates to move up. Okay, let's look at number two. So in number one, we did a transformation. We translated the points. Now in the rest of them, they are giving us the translation and we're going to figure out how much it moved and then we're gonna write a rule for it. So let's look at number two. Our original shape is right here and our new shape is right here since that's the one with the prime symbols. So I can tell that I moved down from here to here and I moved to the right. So I know I moved down and to the right. Now I need to figure out how much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus in on one point. I'm just gonna look at E. So here's my original E. Here's my new E. And I'm gonna count from those corresponding points how much I moved down and to the right. So to get from E to E prime, I moved down one, two, three, four, five. 
and then I moved right one, two, three, four. So I moved down five and right four. And let's mark what the original points were. This E was at four, nine. And then my new E prime was at eight, four. So now I need to write a rule for this translation. So I'm basically just gonna say, what did I do to my X coordinates and what did I do to my Y coordinates to get the new translation? So you start with your X, you start with your Y, and my X went from four to eight because I moved right four. So I added four. And then my Y went from nine to four because I went down five. So that would be Y minus five. So right is a positive direction, that's why we added two X. And then down is a negative direction, that is why we subtracted five. Okay, let's do the same thing on number three. So on this one, I did not move left or right at all but here's my original one, here's my new one, and I can tell that I moved up. So all I did was move up. Let's figure out how much we moved up by just focusing in on one set of corresponding points. I'm gonna look at L and L prime, and I'm gonna count how much I moved up. One, two, three, four, five. You can also tell from the coordinate pairs how much they moved up. The original L was at five, four, and my new L is at five, nine. So there it is again showing us that we moved up five in our Y coordinates. So now we need to write the rule for this. So nothing happened to the X coordinate because we didn't move left or right at all. The up is gonna affect my Y, and I went from four to nine, I added five. And that makes sense because moving up five is a positive direction on the coordinate plane. Okay, let's look at number four. Here is my original triangle, here is my new triangle, so I can tell that I went up and I went left to get to that new triangle. So we went up and left. Okay, we can choose any corresponding points to count our translation. I'm just gonna use the X's. So let's figure out how much I went up from X to X prime. I went up one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went up six. And then I also went left. Let's count how much we went left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I went up six and I went left six. Let's also write out these ordered pairs so we can see it in the numbers. The original X value was at two, negative four, and X prime is at negative four, two. Okay, so now I need to write my rule, what happened to X and what happened to Y. So up six is the Y direction that is positive, and we can see we went from negative four to positive two. So the rule is Y plus six, since we went up six. Okay, then our X direction is left six, and that is a negative subtraction whenever you move left. You can see that the numbers are going down whenever you move left on the coordinate plane. And you can see we went from two to negative four, we went down six, so there's the rule. Okay, last one, number five, here is my original, here is my new, so I can tell I went up and to the right. Let's count how much we went up and to the right. So choose a set of corresponding points. I'm gonna use T 
And to get from T to T prime, I went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I went right one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went up eight and right six. And let's look at the original T. The original T was at negative five, negative two. And the new T is at one six. So to write our rule, we start with our X and Y values. Up eight is affecting my Y values and they're increasing, so that means I added eight. And you can see that from to get from negative two to six, you would add eight. And then right six, if we move right on our X axis, you can tell we are increasing, so that's gonna be plus, and we moved right six. You can also see that from negative five to one. So our rule would be X plus six, Y plus eight to show that translation.